This is the video for section 3.3 notes, slide number 12. All right, so we are finding the derivative of uh, various functions using the natural log rule. So uh, the first function, y equals natural log of x squared. So there's two ways that we could actually approach this. All right, the first way is just conventionally dy dx equals. All right, the rule for natural log of uh, u is 1 over u, so 1 over x squared, times the derivative of x squared, which is 2x. All right, so not too bad, but of course this can be simplified. So x and x may reduce, and I end up with 1 over x times 2, or 2 over x. All right, now the other way to do it is to use a property of logarithms. So a property of logarithms says that if we have a power applied to whatever's inside of the natural log, we can bring that power out front as a coefficient. So we can rewrite the function y as 2 times the natural log of x. And so now, if I wanted to take the derivative of that version, I would get 2 times the derivative of the natural log of x, which is 1 over x. Of course, we still get 2 over x, but that would be an alternate method. All right, uh, number two, y equals x squared times the natural log of x. All right, so first rule to consider here is the product rule. All right, so dy dx equals, all right, product rule says to take x squared times the derivative of the natural log of x, which is 1 over x, plus the natural log of x times the derivative of x squared, which is 2x. All right, so we have this now. We would probably clean it up and simplify a little. So I have x squared and x reduce. So I'm left with just x in the first term plus 2x times the natural log of x. Now, it's also possible that we would uh, change this around. We could factor out an x from uh, both terms. So I have an x times 1 plus 2 natural log of x. <clears throat> so once again, still not too bad. All right, next we have uh, y equals the natural log of the sine of x plus 1. All right, so dy dx. So 1 over u, so in this case sine of x plus 1, times the derivative of u. So derivative of sine of x plus 1. Derivative of sine is cosine of x plus the derivative of 1, which is 0. And so we could just say that this is cosine x over sine of x plus 1. All right, so that is slide number 12.